Hey family, welcome back to Real Talk with TKO. It's another TKO original with your host, Cut Nice 50. Today, Health 101. Um, we're going to jump at, right into it and we're going to go down a couple of steps. Um, step one, what we want to do is rate your health. So you can get a pen and paper and just rate your health from one to 10 just to see where you're at. The second step we're going to do is write down your priorities. And it can be anything from your, um, your job, your meals, fitness routine, um, kids, business, um, future goals, and just prioritize, um, see what you got on a piece of paper and just um, so we can game plan and strategize um, going forward. Now, the third step, what I want to do is to track your food, water, and physical activity for one week. And this, um, this will help you rate your health, just to see where you're at. Um, the um, fourth step, invest in a fitness tracker. If you do have one, that's great. If you don't have one, I sincerely hope that anybody out there invests in a fitness tracker. That way you can see how much water you're getting into your body, how, many, how much uh, calories you burn daily, um, how your physical activity is, how your sleep pattern is, and what you can prove or what is wrong with your system when you sleep at night. Because a lot of them go from your breathing, your heart rate, your um, resting heart rate, um, respiratory rate, um, skin temperature. It has all that in there. And um, you might not really understand it, but you can get an idea of how your body fluctuates daily just from water weight uh, loss or gain, just depending on how you eat. I always, uh, I love fitness trackers. Um, and it's always, and you don't have to be a nutritionist to understand it. It's kind of simple, um, but it'll help you get an idea of how, how your health is operating daily or in your current state. Um, so and that's what, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to number five. Um, just guess your body fat percentage. You, some people may know, some people might not even want to know. Like I say, I done been there. We all done been there. I done got as heavy as 365 when I was playing professional football. They moved me to D-tackle, so I had to go up and wait. I wanted to be the biggest, the strongest. Um, probably wasn't the healthiest then, but I was healthy because I was still playing football or kind of healthy, you know, and not as healthy as stuff that I know now. But I was still lifting every day, and I was way younger, so I was stronger, all this and that. But uh, when you get hurt a little bit, um, your health started to decline. I got as heavy. I used to wear a 9X, so I, a lot of my clothes I had to get made and stuff like that. And I didn't stay that weight that long, but that's the heaviest I've um, been in this lifetime was 365 wearing a 9X. So I understand the big boy was in the house. So with that being said, um, the next step y'all want to do is conduct a physical assessment of yourself. And you can do this many ways. So uh, what I like to do is a one-minute test or a two-minute test. Um, Two minute test or maybe a one minute test, you can do either uh, jogging in place or steps. So um, say if you got a little step that is around steps in your house, just go up, down, up, down. Um, and I mean, kind of at a, a fast pace for two minutes or 60 seconds and see off of that, or you can jog in place. And you can do that for the one minute test or two minute test and see if you can do it. Some people might not be able to even do a minute jogging in place, um, if you're heavy enough, I know it joints and stuff like that. I done went through it. So you might just want to march in place or you can do a, a invisible jump rope. So you can lightly jump in so it won't be a high impact on your knees, joints, stuff like that. Everybody can do these assessments. Um, you can do high knees. You can do whatever you want to do. You want to do it constant at a higher pace or a faster pace just to see how your body reacts to those, um, that physical assessment and just rate yourself. You can do a minute. That's great. Um, if you can do two minutes, that's even better, but you want to pace yourself. So this is not um, assessment that you do taking your time. So you have to really kind of push yourself. You want to jog in place as fast as you can at a decent pace just to see if you can do it. If you're winded um, and, and if you have that physical um, fitness tracker, you can check your heart rate once you're done just to see where you're at. If your, body, if your heart rate now shot up to pretty much your max heart rate, um, or it done jump, jumped up, there. let's just say 100 to 70 to 200, then you know you got some work to do. So this is based on you. Um, the tracker will let you know what's your max heart rate and um, the output that you, you're doing to yourself. And you'll be able to tell once you do it. Um, and just jot it down, heart rate, stuff like that. You can always email me and stuff, and, um, and we can discuss it or comment on this segment right here. And we are also discussing it here, too. Uh, and I'll be doing weekly Q&A's just to 
go get back with you. So um, you already conducted that physical assessment. Now you want to guess your body fat percentage. Um, and body fat is a uh, it's one of the topics that we still get wrong today, man, because a lot of people, they generally say it wrong regardless. Um, they want to be leaner. They want to be ripped. They want to be shredded. And they don't have the knowledge or understanding of real body fat percentage. If you're using like the DESA scan and stuff like that, that's not accurate uh, body fat percentage. I remember I did one and they said I was 6%, but I was more around 12 to 13% because it don't fluctuate. Um, ain't gonna have your height right and stuff like that or water weight right um and i wish i was that lean but i, I wasn't that lean um i didn't have too much fat on me but this this topic is always going to be a debatable subject um to the end of time so um guess your body fat um weight um or body fat percentage um if you don't get on the scale you can write down your regular body weight and go off of that but body fat and body weight is a different um difference so we just gonna go off of that and um, see you know what how we can game plan to try to get a strategy to take that back down and get as healthy as possible with whatever we got going on we got injuries and stuff like that um we can work around that stuff because still other options that you can do as far as daily walking and um meal prepping focusing on your meals and stuff like that so it's always al alternatives that you can do instead of um actually hitting a gym doing that um it's got like the beach body stuff like that i mean you just Plenty of workouts you can do at home. I do them myself and I also hit the gym. Um, I'm off season now, but I'm going to start my prep soon. So um, we're going to see how that go. And age does play a, a factor in all this also. So um, we done got all that, no steps. So we done write down, we wrote down our priorities. We um, tracking our food, water, and physical activity for a week. We're investing in a fitness tracker. We're conducting a physical ass assessment of ourselves. We're guessing our body weight and body fat percentage, or we're gonna um, write down our body weight and then guess our body fat percentage. Um, we did all, we're doing all that just to create a plan on how to improve our health once we find out where we're at um, and establish. You will know, hey, I'm pretty healthy. I did that with ease. I mean, um, your physical assessment, you can always uh, turn it up a notch. Um, you know, try to like jog and try um, seeing how far you can go, you can always try to push yourself a little bit harder each day or each week um, as you keep going on. So you're creating a plan on how to improve your own physical health. And that's you can everybody can do this. You can do this by yourself. You don't need a nutritionist. You don't need a personal trainer to do this stuff to, um, see, to get you back on track. And this is health one on one. Um, Y'all got any questions or comments, man? You got some other stuff you're trying to you want me to discuss or talk about. I am going to go into some other segment, segments for men um, about testosterone and stuff like that and the stats today, um, which is uh, ridiculous. And um, and I, I also believe that goes into why we're having such an identity crisis and stuff like that in men today because of this low test level sets. It's just um, crazy. But, um, you know, as a Black uh, American and men, our health, in the U.S. in general is just uh, worse than any other country out there just because of fast food and stuff like that. We're not taking care of ourselves like we used to our generations before us used to do it. Um, so um, whatever I can do to help, man, just let me know because we're trying to get healthy. We're trying to live a longer, healthier lifestyle. I don't care what your level is right now. You can always start with something. This is just health one-on-one. This is a way to get started. This all stuff I just mentioned is stuff that you can do by yourself. Um, you can always email, comment on this video below. I will answer your questions. I will be doing weekly Q and A's. So y'all stay focused on that, man. We're gonna be communicating a whole lot more. It's your host, Cut Nice 50. This is another Real Talk um, original with TKO Health 101. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. It's your boy, Cut Nice 50. Hey, we out. <laughs>